time for the men's 4x400 four meter relay. The world record held by the United States, under 255, 254.29. And the Goodwill Games record just a hair under three minutes flat, also set by the United States in St. Petersburg in 1994. The Jamaicans will line up in lane four. You see their lineup there, anchored by Davian Clark. In lane five, the United States. We watched Michael Johnson last night playing gold in the 400 meters. He will anchor it tonight and take the baton from Tyree Washington. The Russians will be in lane six. And it's Poland in lane seven. Any problem here for the Yanks? Oh, sure. Jamaica. Uh won the bronze medal in both the Olympics and in the World Championships. So uh, they've got three men from a team that ran 256.75. So Jamaica could be a problem, certainly. But you really rest assured having Michael Johnson on the anchor leg. Well, it's kind of one of those races where, you know, you have to think like a little quietly that you, you kind of hope Michael's behind so you can see him run really, really <laughs> fast. Wouldn't you love to see a 41 split on an anchor leg? I'm, I, I mean, I have to be honest, I would. <laughs> we can only wait and hope <laughs> as they take the line for the 4x400 four relay. Even though the United, States, the United States team has a couple of youngsters on it, Tyree Washington anchored the winning world team in 97. Jerome Young is the 98 U.S. champion. Along with Pettigrew and Johnson, there's also a lot of experience. Jerome Young hitting lead off out of lane five for the United States. And oddly enough, he will hand to Antonio Pettigrew, who is his coach at St. Augustine's College. Pettigrew recruited Jerome Young. And Jerome Young paid him back by breaking his school record. They don't, they don't train together because uh, Pettigrew trains in the morning with another crew. So they probably haven't practiced stick passing. I don't think they knew that this was going to happen for very long. It's also funny because uh, Jerome Young also beat his coach at the national championship. So maybe he did a little bit too good of a job. And right now he is moving very, very well. I was going to say pretty hot lap here to start things off by Jerome Young. But, but you know, the coach Pettigrew did beat Young in the Goodwill Games. Yes, he did. So now they're competing to see who has the fastest relay spit split, and Jerome Young's gone out very quickly with a good one. It's Here you go, Coach. Take it. There goes Antonio Pettigrew. I think his leadoff was 43-77. That's pretty fast. 44 Four. Well, the board on the field had 43.77. We've got it unofficially at 44.4, but out of the blocks, that's fast. Michael McDonald of Jamaica has made up some ground as he tries to chase down Antonio Pettigrew. Michael McDonald, excellent runner, also a member of that bronze, last two bronze medal teams for Jamaica at the Worlds and the Olympic Games, so lots of experience. You know, a lot of these guys have run in the United States, and what I want to know right there is what Antonio Pettigrew was doing out in lane two coming around that turn. He's back in lane one now, and he's got his sights set on Tyree Washington with the headband, and there goes Tyree running the third leg in the 4 by 400 well, We have so many excellent 400-meter runners in the United States, and to get a big lead off, as you see, 43-2 split for Antonio Pettigrew. That is why you see that big lead for the United States. You know, when you start off with a great leg, it just makes everyone else on the team really relaxed. You can run your own race and just get out there and push. I, you know, I don't think Michael Johnson's going to be too relaxed. These guys have run some of the best races of their lives, and they're not expecting to give Michael a stick for a 45 or a 44. They want some history here. Tyree Washington will hand to Michael Johnson the final leg of the men's 4x400 four meters. The United States with a huge lead, and they hand it to the Terminator. Michael Johnson extending the lead. The Jamaicans are a distant second. Michael Johnson, the 400-meter champion, one night ago, anchoring the U.S. team here. If Michael can get a good split here, it is a great feat because, you know, when you're so far ahead, it is really tough sometimes to continually push yourself, run harder. In his mind right now, he's like, push, push, come on, turn it over, turn it over. It's going to be a world record. Michael Johnson and the United States with a world record in their sights.
Well, you got to hand it to uh, Pettigrew also. Unofficially, he had a 43-2, only a tenth slower than Michael Johnson. These are all unofficial times. It's pretty hard to get splits. And from up here in the stands, Walt Murphy did a great job on that one. But Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. You, you know, you really, one of the things also, people don't realize how important the passing is in the 4 by 400 meter relay. Because the gentleman coming in right now, Tyree Washington, he is running in oxygen debt. The most important thing right now, run through the zone. Michael has got to get out, but you've got to keep the speed moving through. The baton was given to Michael Johnson, and he had a big jump. Right here, Michael Johnson is thinking, there's the line. I've got to keep my legs moving. I don't care how I feel. They've got to move. If they broke the record, it's only by about eight or nine hundredths of a second, so the passing was important. Michael Johnson and a victorious U.S. team in the 4x400 four meters. They're with Craig Seager, as you can see. What about it, Craig? Well, Jerome, let's go through this world record. The first leg from the start, the great jump. Take us up to the first exchange. Well, the guy's been talking to me, too, to make sure I'm patient, relaxing to do what I had to do. Because basically, I just wanted to get out, run, run focus, and make sure I run, run the last 150. So I did my job, so I'm happy of it. You passed the baton to coach. Have you guys had a chance to practice that exchange, or what about the second leg? Uh, no, we hadn't, but I wanted to come out and do something special tonight. Uh, I knew Mike was running, Tyree, you and Jerome. I knew we had a chance at the record. Uh, we want, we re, It was sweet yesterday for the United States. And I want to do something special for New York and Goodwill Games. So it turned out great. Ty, you got the baton. I saw you look down at the clock as soon as you took off. What were you thinking? All I was thinking about is world record. I just want to go out there and run hard. I knew Mike told me to keep it coming, you know, get the baton eye level. And that's what I did. And I just thank God. And I wanted this real bad. And we did it together as a team. All right, Mike, you're sitting there relaxed, but suddenly your three teammates give you at a point where you have a chance at a world record. How did you push yourself with nobody else in contention? Well, I didn't want to let these guys down. They ran great legs before me, and I didn't want that hard work to go to waste. So I'm pleased that we came out here and broke the world record. We couldn't have done it without you guys. What happened to Michael Johnson? He loses a race over in Europe. They say he's not fit. You come in here, you win the individual 400. Now you go to a world record. Well, it's a process. I've been having some injuries, but I've got that all behind me now, and I'm feeling good. I guess a world record for the U.S. Let's go back to Ernie. On the final night of track and field competition here at the Goodwill Games, a world record in the 4x400. Four and by the way, cha-ching, that's 100,000 clams there that those four will split.